Um, this next slide uh, it just poses that question really. We wanted to study, again, um, care without value-based cost-sharing reductions, and we've also moved towards studying care with value-based cost-sharing reductions. But we want to know what happens to high-value, high-acuity care when diabetes patients in high deductible plans face high out-of-pocket costs for their care. And this is uh, some of our results. So to orient you to this slide, I talked earlier about uh, previous research that fairly intuitively, as you can imagine, high income members uh, ha have uh, less uh, challenges with, when facing high out-of-pocket costs, and low income members will obviously experience more challenges. And so we, we um, divide our results into a high income group or a low income group, and that's what this is showing on this slide. Where the high income group on the left, we are measuring in this case um, visits to the outpatient, uh, for outpatient visits for acute preventable diabetes complications. And the high income group um, did not experience a delay in time to these visits. These are sort of time to event plots, and these are showing that the high income group did not experience a statistically significant delay. Whereas on the right, the low income group did experience a delay. And you can see that that red line being under the green line means it took longer for those low income patients to present to their outpatient uh, facilities when they had a diabetes complication such as cellulitis, pneumonia, urinary tract infection. Those were sort of the most common of these diabetes complications that we studied. Um, so then we wanted to know, well, we, we see these delays in outpatient care for diabetes complications after patients are switched to high deductible insurance. So does that have um, any apparent adverse effects? And that's what this slide is trying to show. So again, the, the high income group on the left there uh, did not experience any, change, any increase in their um, complication visits to the emergency department. But on the right, these same types of visits, again, cellulitis, pneumonia, urinary tract infection, things that could be prevented um, with, with good care and uh, ready access, those actually increase. So that red line, this is a cumulative rate, that red line going up above the green line, the red indicates the high deductible group, the green, the control group, that indicates that over those two follow-up years, um, the high deductible group experienced more uh, emergency department complication visits for uh, complications of diabetes. There's actually a very large uh, relative increase of about 22%. And so, and then we, we want, also wanted to see um, what were the costs of emergency department visits. So we, we subset, th this is now a broader category of emergency department visits. So all uh, emergency departments that are ca classified as high severity by a certain classification algorithm uh, that you can use in health insurance claims data. So um, when you take all high severity emergency department visits, we wondered whether um, those would be uh, more expensive, less expensive, or the same among patients after they switch to the high deductible plan. The idea being that if these, if patients are delaying care, then once they show up to the emergency department, they might be sicker, and we might see that uh, they're sicker in the form of increased total costs. So, so again, um, on the left is showing our overall population of commercially insured diabetes patients switched to high deductible plans, and the right is showing the low income subgroup uh, in one year of follow up. And you can see that the, um, you know before the switch, the groups are similar. But after the switch in uh, year one, that red line goes above the green line, indicating the higher total costs in the low income group of diabetes patients switched to high deductible insurance plans. And as another sort of uh, uh, outcome that could indicate adverse uh, um, you know, effects of the high deductible plan, we also looked at uh, hospitalization days that followed high severity emergency department visits. Uh, the idea being that if you have to stay in the hospital longer, uh, it could indicate that you're sicker. Our, our claims data um, are good at looking at, um, at certain types of services, but it's, it's a bit harder to find what's a, an adverse outcome. But longer hospital stay is genuinely agreed to be a pretty good indicator that someone is sicker. So that's why we studied this. And you can see, again, this low, the overall group, no, no effect. Um, but once you subset to the low income group, uh, a very large increase in hospitalization days. So before the, before the switch to high deductible insurance, that's the baseline. There was no difference when both groups were in low deductible plans. And then after the switch, when the high deductible group was paying uh, a lot more for services in general, they had uh, greater increases. They had a, a greater increase in these hospitalization days after high severity emergency department visits. So, um, 
to summarize, high out-of-pocket costs for acutely needed services among low-income diabetes patients were associated with delayed care and apparent increased adverse outcomes and related costs. And interestingly, and this surprised us, the high-income diabetes cohort uh, was not particularly affected. So, you know, this is, uh, we see this as a policy opportunity not only for value-based cost-sharing exclusions, but what we've called population-tailored health insurance designs where there might be a subset of a, a particularly a employer's population that might be at greatest risk and and insurance designs or mechanisms could be implemented to uh, spe based on evidence to specifically sort of target those at-risk populations for more generous coverage or something like health savings account contributions that are preferentially uh, given to one type of population uh, in a sort of a zero-sum way so that uh, you don't have to increase the amount of money but the, 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 the funds can be shifted to at-risk patients.